तो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक विद एन अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सेल्स फॉर्स गीक चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ स्क्रीन फ्लो एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लॉन्च दैट स्क्रीन फ्लो फ्रॉम द क्विक एक्शन एंड बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दैट क्विक एक्शन ऑवर द रिकॉर्ड डिटेल पेज ऑफ अकाउंट एंड वन मोर थिंग विच वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन दिस वीडियो इज फील्ड बीटा हाउ यू कैन यूज फील्ड बीटा इन योर सेल्स फोर्स स्क्रीन फ्लो टू मेक quick screens so without any delay let's get started so first of all let me navigate to the flows in quick find simply type flows click on flows click on new flow and as i told you simply click on screen flow and click create click on the plus button drag and drop a screen sorry just click on the screen uh i have <laughs> a usual habit of drag and drop because earlier i worked on preform so that's why so simply from the left hand side you can see fields beta version so to use fields beta what you need to do is you need to create a record variable to use the fields of that particular object so simply click on new resource and i am going to create a variable and on purpose i am going to provide the API name as record ID. I will let you know why I did this. Uh, record ID. Make sure your API name is same as that. If you try this scenario, right? In the data type, select record, and in the object, select account or whatever the object you want to play with, uh, like this fields beta. Click on done. Now simply, uh, when the record variable is over there, you can see fields automatically appear over there, right? so simply you can drag and drop onto the screen let's say account rating account number or let's say active or any other let's say account description so that's how you can use a uh, num any number of fields that are displayed on the left hand side right like number of locations so simply like that now if you click on done okay i need to provide the screen name so let's say screen 1 and simply click done now what i am going to do i am going to update the account whenever i click on the button of the quick action it will show me a screen with a populated field now i created a variable with the name of record id right a record id basically when we place this quick action over the record detail page record id automatically fetch the record of the count and all the fields automatically and now here i need to use update record element type update account and as we have the record global variable we are simply going to select the func first option use the ids and all field values from a record or record collection and simply type here record id and this is the record variable basically click on done and that's it with our flow click on save let's type update account click save make sure you activate your flow if you want to use this in uh, this flow in the quick action if your flow is not activated then you will not see the option of that flow into your quick action now to create a quick action you need to navigate to the object manager and in the object manager look for the object you want to place that flow i created for account so i am going to create on account here you can see flow is also activated now go to the button links and actions click on new action and in action type select flow as you can see in the flow update account is automatically populated because i activated my flow that's why here you need to provide the label so let's say update account and simply save your action now what you need to do as you can see update account quick action is created you need to place this a quick action over the account layout now again go back and click on the page layouts
and select account layout you will find your quick action into the mobile and lightning action click on it and here you can see update account quick action is over there right now what you need to do simply drag and drop the update account to the salesforce mobile and lightning experience action and click save as the account layout is saved go to account and let's click on any account let's say burlington textile corp of india and you will see update account button on the first point like just before the new contact and if you click on the update account okay so you are not seeing any uh, field populated over there because i forgot to make this variable available for input so what you need to do is go to the record id variable and click on available for input click done save as save your flow and activate it again so make sure whenever we are providing any input to our flow we need to select that checkbox on while creating variables right so let's move back to the account and refresh our page so that we get the updated one so right now let's say click on update account and this time you can see all the fields are populated automatically right so let's say i'm going to change the account name as test rating as 3 account number let's say addition 3 number of location let's say 5 active yes let's say yes and in the account description updated from quick action and let's click next so as you can see account name change to test Oh, let's click on the details pass to check like whether all the fields are updated or not now here you can see account number is also updated because we append 3 over there in the description we type updated from quick action so that's how you can use field beta option in your salesforce screen flows and that's how you can use it use your flow at quick action so i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos and thank you so much for all the love and support